finally get to go test these two out. This is the FMS Limar. Limar, Limar, Lima, however you say it. Lima? I actually thought it said uh, Lamar. <laughs> I can't read, I'm bad. Lima. So this one is stock. The only thing I did is I took off that bumper here because I didn't like how it looked. I felt like it looks better like this. So I took that off and you compare it to a lightly modified SCX24. It's got the Holmes Hobby motor. I uh, forgot which churn it is. I could see later. Little guy racing tires. Uh, some brass on the divs, on the hubs. And a different servo. So we're going to see how a lightly modified SCX24 compares to this FCX24 stock. Let's see. absolute first time just testing it out and uh, kind of just got stuck there for a second I don't know why I can figure out the steering or something but it does feel really tall that's for sure compared to the deadbolt and the deadbolt is set up um, pretty low like I, I moved the shocks to a different position so it's sitting a little bit lower than it what a stock dead bolt would be at. You can tell if you look at the fenders, they're been cut to make space for the tires so they don't rub as much. So that it has the advantage right there. I'm just trying to do like a slow crawl, but it just does not want to work. The tires are like trying to grip, but I think because the pattern is so even, there isn't any like deep lugs in it that it just kind of skids over the rock. Instead of grabbing onto the rock, it just kind of loses traction over it. Probably should have moved the camera here to show that at that top side there's a, another rock because right here it just looks like I can't make it over a straight away but there's a little bit of an incline right there which I end up actually moving the camera towards the end but I thought that from that position you can see it and I didn't realize that it didn't pick it up it's uh, too low. So then when I try with the FMS here, what ends up happening is it just doesn't want to grab. The tires are just too, um, I don't want to say slick because they do grip, but just the way the thread is, like there's no deep lugs. So it's just kind of, you know, losing traction. Um, the height doesn't help, but it's, I feel like it's more the tires right here than the height itself because when I end up putting it in second gear it just makes it up obviously because of the speed and if you're trying to do it slow because the tires are just not gripping it's it's not gonna work small section that the dev bolt does easy of course because that's how i have it set up is to do just stuff like that and that's a mess i thought it was actually gonna be able to do this spot because it's not that tall but it couldn't and then here 
is where you can see the shock travel. Having that short shock travel does not help right here. It's just, <laughs> you can't get the dead bolt to just get over that rock, which is uh, trying to tip over and it actually ends up tipping over. So this is where the FMS shines right here. It just ends up going over this and over the dead bolt. <laughs> kind of just like conquering it. Here I finally just decide I'm gonna try the little guy racing part tires on it and I took them off the deadbolt threw them on here just to see if it made a difference and it did help it still is really tall so it does feel like it wants to tip over just as easy as it did with the other tires but the difference is it has a little more grip which helps obviously so here's that other section that on the last video it's hard to see on the last clip and um i just end up trying this a few times in low gear and it's just tip over and over so what i do is i end up lining it up with the high gear or second gear i put in second gear just to get it over that lip and then just put it back in first there's no reason <laughs> just to sort of finish it slow but i mean it does good it's cool that it's got the two speed on there it definitely comes in handy Again, I try low speed, but it just doesn't want to do it. And there's actually a mouse right there. We'll just say it's taking a nap in between those two rocks. I didn't even notice it until I was like at this point. I'm like, oh, there's a mouse right there. So I put it in second gear, and I didn't want to land on the mouse. I just gunned it up the rock. And pretty much anything that it can't do on low gear, you just put it on that second gear and it'll go up it. And I'm sure with brass, that would definitely help. Or even just putting some smaller shots, like without having all that travel. But I like having it tall because, I don't know, it just looks cool and it works good. If you need taller, it does make it over some obstacles a lot easier. So for now, I'm gonna leave it at that height. I don't wanna mess with the shot just yet. wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing and I tried to speed out of it but it didn't work but overall I'm really happy with this FMS rig it's super fun it's like a tiny tiny Capra <laughs> so it's cool I would definitely recommend it if you beginner or if you want to add another mini truck to your arsenal you can't go wrong with these they're super fun thanks for watching